no, just let me know if you have anything. It would mean a lot to me. All right, all right. Thanks, Fred. I'll talk to you later uh, about actual work stuff. See ya. Bye. What you doing? I'm uh, trying to get us another sponsor. I thought you gave that up. Well, I did, but Mr. Perfect over there got us that Lonely Heart sad in the last video, and I don't know. Uh, is Mr. Perfect Frog Dunker? Mm. Yeah. Okay, I, I gotcha, I gotcha. But what if instead of this, we make a change and uh, not say these lines at all? Um... If that would make you satisfied, but just know they're going to be playing my new EP over top of it, so it won't matter yeah. anyway. It's fire, by the way. Yeah, neither of those things is happening. I used to be the one over Bassmeister's shoulder. He used to appreciate the work I did. Now I'm just a script monkey. They don't even follow the scripts I write anymore. It's If I can get this, then he and the producer, they'll appreciate the work I do again. Are you okay, Jobro? <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. And he's gone. So, okay. So, we change this, this, and we're good, right? All good? Um, no, I really think it would be better Guys, if we... Guys, stop taking yourself so seriously and just start the show. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Story Cow Lab. Today, we have an excellent show for you. But before we begin, I actually want to say a special shout to my girlfriend, Rebecca. I miss you. Call me. I love you. Oh, yeah. And I'm doing a week of awesome, foolish stuff next week. So check out the link in the description down below. Before Big Bang speaks off the stage, here is our actual show with Mary Tilton and Mexico. Ow! Ow! Where the dad was bad, and the mom and daughter were good. But then the mom died. And then the dad remarried to a woman with two girls. And they were all bad, so they were all ugly. Okay, they told the girl to go to the kitchen and be their slave. So she was covered in cinders every day, and her name was Ella. <gasps> That's why she's called Cinderella. <gasps> oh, and there was also a tree and a bird. <gasps> there, then the king said... Let's have a festival for three days so we can get the prince married. Cinderella wanted to go, but the stepmom was mean and would not let her go. But then Cinderella asked the bird for gold and silver to be thrown on her. So the bird did. She went to the festival, and her family didn't recognize her because they don't. And then the prince only danced with her, and he wanted to take her home, but she slipped away like a little minx. The next day went the same way. But on the third day, when Cinderella went to leave, the prince had set a trap so that she could not slip away, which didn't work. But she did leave her shoe, so the prince told his father, Oh, father, I need to find the maiden that feeds this slipper. She'll be my duet partner forever. But my boy, shouldn't we wait until we find a girl who looks like her and the shoe fits? No! So when the prince came to Cinderella's house, the two sisters fooled the prince into thinking that they were the one. But when they passed the white bird, the bird was like, no. So the prince was like, anyone else? And the stepmom was like, no. And the dad was like, yeah. So Cinderella tried the shoe on, and it fit. And the prince and her lived happily ever after. And the stepmom was blocked. What the end? Uh, hey, Joe. Yes, sir. What were you doing in that skit? Uh, get rid of all the bags, sir. Uh, but why? We love those. Well, they hate us. Besides, I've got a sponsor on the line, and they say must get rid of all these. It's no deal. I've been trying to tell you and Frog Dunker this, but we don't need sponsors. We need to focus on quality content. Will you two please stop acting like children? Sorry. Yes, sir. We don't need sponsors, we need to focus on quality content. I don't think we need to do more work for money. We're not big enough for that. Besides, doesn't that really get in the way of it being, you know, art? You can make art and still get paid for it. I think we are big enough for that. I think that we're a good enough show that we can make something good 
I would still have good product placement that gets us money. Alright? And you know what? I think the producer would be on my side. I I really don't think that. I can prove it. I can call her. Right don't, now. don't you dare. I'm I'm gonna. I'm good. Hello? Producer, is that you? Calm down there, gingivitis! You're not the producer. Who is this? Look, Carrot, I heard you were looking for a sponsor. And I just happen to be a man who has many things. Talents, brains, good looks, collection of creepy, creepy masks. Why, why do I even have this? I don't know. I have no clue. Hey, Freckles, you want to shut up a minute and let me talk? Okay. Now, listen, uh, wait, you got a phone on you? Clearly. All right, try this one on for size. Hi there, I'm Joey. Joey Moneybags. What is he? Let me ask you a question. No questions. Questions are for suckers. And you're not a sucker, are you? Well, except for that question. That question doesn't count. That was, that was rhetorical. You like money, right? Random TV informational viewer? Of course you do. That question was also rhetorical. Rick, Rick, Rick Warren. Rick, Rick, Ritzy. Rick, Rick, Rhinos. I'm a seller. I sell things. It's in my blood. You want a car? There's a boat instead. You want... Dry cleaning? Well, Yahtzee, go fish. And you're gonna fish on that boat too. See, that's what the kids say, Yahtzee, right? Yahtzee, that's a, that's a game with money, right? I think so. I know what kids want. I know what's relevant. Check this out. You want your brand relevant with kids? I'm great with kids. Take this young youth boy thing, for example, and it's female compatriots over there. All right, check this out. John Cena, 90210, iPhone 6, Google Chrome. YouTube and Facebook, feel the burn, my star child. See, I'm great with kids. <laughs> what? Oh, uh, as you can see, you should hire me, Joey Moneybags. You want money on your side? You want a crap ton of money? That, well, you want more than a crap ton. Crap ton isn't even a real thing, I don't think. Anyway, you want money? You hire the guy who's got money in his name, Joey Moneybags. Call 555 Moneybags today. Again, that's 555 Moneybags. Hey, didn't we do this whole sponsor on a phone bit last week? Better, eh? Yeah? Why are you touching me? It just feels right. Gentlemen, what's going on? I heard an uncomfortable disturbance in the force. Well, I was trying to make the show better when mm -hmm. Face Master over here... Are we still talking about this? Yes, we are. He says that my ideas are too sell-outy, as if the bags we have all over the set all the time are any less of a sellout. I, look, Joe, here's the thing. We all really like okay. I mean, no, 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 let me finish. If we were to switch to another chip brand or take another sponsor, I mean, we would be lying to our viewers, putting our trust in something we don't believe in. But, 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 but... No, 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 Joe, Joe. But this is what creates art. If we were to have too many sponsors, we'd compromise the integrity of the show and, well... We wouldn't want that now, would we? I guess you're right. Joe, I'm always right. Alright guys, we got one more skit we gotta do tonight. Uh, where's Frog Dunker? This is his bit. His bit? He has a- what? 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 Hello and welcome to the THN 2016 presidential election debate. I'm your host, Sanderson Ghost. Today I'm gonna go ahead and lay the ground rules for- Hey, it's your boy Jacob Productions TV. And today, I've got a really cool challenge video for you guys called Run for President. Um, Mr. Productions TV, could you please wait until you're called on? Anyway, each candidate will be- Now before we get this video started, I would like to thank my sponsors over at Sniffable. Sniffable is this really awesome product where you can sniff books instead of reading them. Sir, sir, sir. Please, no product placement here. We're on national television. Okay, let's forget the ground rules and go straight into the questions. Since you are so eager, Mr. Productions TV, I'll have you answer the first one. Many Americans say that the road to the presidential seat is too easy for our candidates. They say that their luxurious lifestyle stopped them from understanding the struggles of the average American. How do you respond to that? Let me tell you. It has not been easy for me. My mom gave me a small loan of $800 so I could pay for this high quality camera and audio setup. And what's more, I had to pay it back in ad revenue that I got from YouTube. Also, I've had to take donations from my fans to be able to pay for video games so I can play video games for my Let's Plays. So no, it has not been easy for me. 
This man is a, it's a joke. You cannot seriously want to vote for this guy. Why is he even on this stage? Governor Ruko, please wait until you're called on. Guys, I've been getting some uh, really nasty hate comments from this guy, Mario Rubio. Could you please uh, do me a favor and go to his Twitter and Facebook page and spam him with hate comments? Thanks. Love ya. Senator Falcon, with the looming atomic threat by North Korea, how do you think America should respond? Well, I think that... Oh, just... I know a guy who could single-handedly take care of all of the problems in North Korea, and his name is... Are we really expected to take this man seriously? I am here to discuss the issues. This man is all flash and punch and no substance. So punch? No, no, no. I'm the one who punches things. Uh. So anyway, guys, come November, don't subscribe to these losers. Do you want America to get views again? Then subscribe to me. Like, these guys don't even know how annotations work. So just remember, uh, rate, uh, like, and uh, share. Um, I love you guys. Security, I just got a call from the head of the RNC. This man's not a real candidate. I knew. Oh, Mr. Prank! Oh, oh, Mr. God. Prank! No, we just play on! Game! I can't believe this sort of kind of losers didn't put any annotation to me in, in the last month of the outro box. Because, you know, I need that ad revenue from the YouTube so I can move out of this place and get my... Dude, fr uh, frog dunker? What, what are you doing? Uh, I'm making an outro for the outro box because no one else remembered to. Frog dunker, this is backstage. The outro box is that way. Uh, outro box can be anywhere if you set your mind. Uh, okay. Want to listen to some dubstep with me? Yeah, dubstep and.